Look how adorable you look, Rose. She, she looks like she's giving me a very evil look then. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I think Mario was trying to take over my channel there, but we're not having that because this video is going to be all about the pugs anyway. Because Halloween isn't just about us getting dressed up and having fun, it's also about, you know, the rest of the family, including the pets, getting dressed up and having fun. My dogs absolutely love getting dressed up. I usually just dress them up to take a couple of like Instagram pictures and just to have a little bit of fun with them because they honestly do love enjoying getting dressed up. They end up starting running around and just going mad. They absolutely love it. But the main reason why they have Halloween costumes is because I like to take them to this little event in Norwich which is called Pugween. And that's where all the local pugs or pug crosses and other cute little dogs Dogs come along and we just all have fun like they all get dressed up some don't some just come in their usual fur attire and then yeah they just run around having fun sniffing and scratching each other you know that kind of thing and it's just really nice to see like all the pugs getting together and it's just so cute because if you love pugs it's just like cuteness like pug overload especially in their cute little Halloween costumes so today I'm gonna to be showing you my pugs Halloween costumes and I'm gonna be telling you where I got them from and yeah, let's just get the pugs dressed up. But this is my little pug called Grace and oh, she is just so, so cute, but so naughty. And I do wish that I got her a little devil <laughs> costume, but we don't have a devil costume for her. We have this like evil little spider. And I thought because it's black like her, it would look really cute on her. This was $4.99 from B&M. And this, I think, was size, like, small. It's a little bit too small for her. I think she could have done with medium. Do you want to try this costume? Yeah? I do really wish I got her a devil one, but she looks absolutely cute in this because you've already tried it on, haven't you? There you go. Let's tie up this bit. Oh, you look so cute. Don't trump in my face. So the hood bit can go over her head. But I don't like to keep putting on her head because it's probably a bit irritating. Look at that cute little face. Look at those chubby little cheeks. Look at that little cute face. And these spider legs. Oh, they're very, very creepy. I think she's put on a bit of weight since I bought this costume because when she first tried it on, it seemed to fit a little bit better. There you go. So this is Grace's Halloween spider costume and I think she looks creepy crawly. I don't really like spiders but if I saw a spider like this I would definitely pick it up and give it a cuddle. Don't you look adorable? Yeah? I think she's saying I'm not that impressed mum. But you go to Pugaween and I think you've got an awesome little outfit. All the pugs are going to love you. Unless they don't like spiders, then they might not like you that much, will they? Yeah. What would you rate this outfit out? I think if it fit a bit better, it would definitely be like a 10 out of 10. Because it's like a... She's, she's basically got a little bit porky. It doesn't fit you as well, does it? No. So I'll probably rate this outfit like a 8 out of 10. I do really love like the spider legs. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Next we have little mole moles and she's getting a bit porky. And it's not because she's like growing like Grace's where Grace is getting a bit chubby. She's getting a bit chubby because she keep eating somebody's food. Don't you, naughty little girl? So we've got Molly hair, and she absolutely adores dressing up. Like when I get her costumes out, she goes bad. Don't you? She loves just being treated like a baby. Like obviously I do treat them like how dogs should. Like they don't sleep on my bed, they sleep in their own little cage. Molly's costume is like pretty and pink, but at the same time very like Halloweeny. So I've got her these like I don't know what you call them like spider like fairy wings these were 199 from b&m and i got these in size medium but i'm thinking that i maybe i should have got large see look she's already going like mad because it's a good costume and then she's just got like this 
very big like pink tutu once i put it on her you'll see a little bit better how it goes on this is what i made myself just out of some elastic and then some of like this netted thread i should have bought some black thread because then i could have just like you know put that in with like the pink so it would have been like pink and black i think we should put your tutu on first because this looks rather small this actually might not be your one okay up we get remember this drill you gotta put your foot in okay up you go again one foot in that's it then pop your other little foot in your little paw and there we go and then we pull her little oh yeah she is definitely getting a bit porky because this is looking a little bit too tight for you moles so pretty oh let's cover that up there we go and now we've got your little fairy wings so I think we should put, uh, we should have got large, I think. Well, we'll, we'll see. Okay, ready? That's it. Good girl. Oh, look at these, aren't they pretty? Don't you look absolutely adorable? Stand up so the purposes can see you. Look, this is the back view. Look at that. And then look, this is a front view. You look absolutely gorgeous. You're like a little princess spider fairy whatever you want to call it i think this outfit is really really cute like the wings were only 199 and then for the thread and the net it comes to like three pound so five pound for a really cute little doggy halloween costume i think is really nice and yeah five pound for this little outfit i think is really nice do you like it yeah i think she's going to sleep she when she cuddles up with mummy you just start oh yeah there she goes she's going to sleep Oh, are you just trumped? That stinks. Ew. Okay, now we have the cute little Rosie, apart from she really, really smells. And her costume, I think it's gonna suit her so much because she is like a chubby little pumpkin, aren't you? And I call you that, don't I, my little pumpkin? So her costume also comes from B&M and this was $4.99, it comes in extra small, small, medium and large and I found that this size which was small fitted her perfectly and I do find that if you have like a pug sized dog or a pug then the large is just a little bit too big. Mario's costume that you're going to see next was size medium and that fit him perfect but for a smallish kind of pug like little Rosie, she needed a small, so we're gonna go put your costume on now. He, oh, are you falling asleep too? She's giving me kisses. Turn around though, because I don't think they all want to see your bum. Look how adorable she looks. She's just like, let's show them your back, but just not your bum. Oh, look at her little Halloween costume. It is so cute. Oh, she's giving mummy hair clean. Yeah, I think this costume is just super duper adorable and it's very obviously Halloween-y because it's a pumpkin and she is my little pumpkin, aren't you? Rose is just too adorable, especially when she dresses up because she just looks even more cuddly and cute. Look how adorable you look, Rose. She, she looks like she's giving me a very evil look then. Come on, boy. That's it. Who's chunkster? Say hello, Mario. So, Mario's costume. Oh, okay, he wants to get on the table. Mario's costume is like super, super cute. And I can't wait to try this on him. And it's a Frankenstein outfit. This was, like I said earlier, size medium from BM. And look at it, it's just so cute. When I dress up Mario, he always puts on costumes, then he just sits there like. Thanks, Mum. I look so stupid. And then all of a sudden, he'll just go mad and start running around the room. Mario, look, it's your Halloween costume. Come on. Pop your foot in there. That's it. You know the drill, don't you? Good boy. He's already pulling that face just to say. But as you can tell, his look, his tail's wagging. So he's enjoying it. He's not hating it. So yeah, look at his costume. It's so cute. I absolutely love, like, the black, like, fur. Well, should I say Frankenstein's hair? Look at him. <laughs> How cute is that? Because he's got like two different coloured eyes. Are we boring you there? Because he's got two different coloured eyes. I think like the Frankenstein kind of 
theme Halloween costume really suits him. Like, look at that little face. Look at that little face. You get a bit hot, aren't you? I'm getting a bit hot because all the lights. Rose is at the door barking. She wants to come in and join in with the Halloween dressing up. I think this costume was really good. I would definitely rate this costume like a 10 out of 10 because I absolutely love them. Okay, Rose. Rose is barking at Mario because she's like, what is that? It's a Frankenstein pug. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy just seeing what costumes I have for my pugs for Halloween and getting dressed up with them. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave Love you all. While you still can.